make dreams fall when you got them heels on. You the hottest bitch in the blitz. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, what is going on, YouTube? You know, though I've lost a lot of weight in the past year and a half or so, I still realize that when it comes to my body weight, yeah, I'm still fat. Fat and delicious. <laughs> but while going through this weight loss process, I realize that I tend to have fat people habits. <laughs> and all my chunky brothers and sisters out there, you know you have it too. For example, when we go out to eat, you know for a fact that we always have to finish all of our food. And what I mean by all of our food, I'm talking about every single thing. And you're probably asking us, well, what if you're full? It doesn't fucking matter, what's full? Because in our mind, there has not been a technique yet where you could somehow stop eating and transport that leftover food somewhere else and then eat it later. You know, I found out about something recently though. It's called a to-go box. <laughs> you know, my friend was trying to explain to me what that shit was and, and I could not grasp the concept of it. If you're full, you stop eating and then you take it to go. Listen, I don't know who your African friend to go is, but he is not coming in my house. Af what the fuck are you talking about? Oh word, you think I'm stupid? I know he's African. My name is to go. My God, you are fat and you're stupid. Tell me why when I know there is absolutely no food in the fridge, I keep opening it up as if food is magically going to appear. <laughs> Dude, why do we do that? That shit makes no sense. We treat our refrigerator as if it's a magic portal to a buffet. <clears throat> okay, ain't nothing in here. <clears throat> no, I'm still ain't nothing. Gotcha, bitch! God damn it! If you're a dude and you are really chunky, for some reason, we randomly squeeze our boobs. I don't fucking know why, but I do. And contrary to popular belief, no, it's not an erotic thing. It's more like I'm chilling by myself, and then I look down and I'm like, hey, I got me some titties. And this could partially explain why I'm an ass man and titties don't really do it for me. You like these titties? You wanna fuck me? Bitch, I got my own, fuck you. Mm. As a fat man, I am always looking for a way not to sweat. When you are big, sweating is inevitable because your body is trying to figure out a way to cool your ass down. But it can't do it, so it just starts to cry. <laughs> hey man, you okay? Yeah, why? I hate that shit. I am always moist. The only possible way for me not to be sweaty is if I douse my whole body in baby powder or gold bond. <clears throat> when I go to a buffet, my main mission is to make sure that the restaurant owners regret that I ever existed. And listen, I know I don't have to eat like that, but every time I walk into a buffet, I say to myself, well, I got to get my money's worth. Motherfucker, the amount of food that you eat, you get your money's worth, plus a small village in Uzbekistan. Trust me, people who own a Chinese buffet look at me like I'm the Black Plague. Hey, <laughs> y'all, fat boy, go to hell! I'm taking you bitches out! Mata, fat fortune cookie, fuck! I'm all kinds of fucked up, and I know for a fact when I lose all this weight, I'm still doing the same shit. Bye. Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Yes, 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 that was a video. I am done with that. Now, Wednesday, we have another live vlog episode, and you know I put some work into that. And Sunday, we have another upload. Stay tuned for that. I got sketches coming for you guys that I'm working on, and that's just gonna be fucking hilarious. Deal with it! See you guys this Wednesday and Sunday, and if I happen to upload an extra video throughout the week, just stay tuned and subscribe, you fucking bitches. Oh, and, and the notifications for when the videos come out, because y'all need to watch it. Woo!